Well, here we go. It is that time. The heavyweight title on the line as Stipe Miosic takes on Bobby Brantz. Let's bring him out. Ladies and gentlemen, our next fight is brought to you by Alpha Dog Gear, the official professional gloves provider of the NAAFS, and also Tim Lally Chevrolet, the official auto dealership of the NAAFS. This is a co-main event of the evening. And now, making his way to the John P. Lennon red corner, please welcome Bobby Prince. To this fight. And here comes Bobby Brentz, making his way to the cage, nine and one, and one uh, won a semifinal bout to earn this fight here tonight. Absolutely, after losing his very first fight back in 2003, Bobby's won nine straight bouts, including his most recent win over Kirk Hayes in the NAAFS heavyweight tournament. Um, this guy has got a nasty key lock, good wrestler. Um, he is excited. To, he said in an interview, he is excited to be in Stipe's backyard because if he wants NAAFS gold, he wants to earn it the hard way. Well, he will do that if he can walk out of here with the win tonight. I don't know if uh, there's a tougher road to take here than going through Stipe in his backyard. Absolutely, uh, his nine and one record is all professional fights, so this guy's no stranger to the long rounds, the elbows, kicks to the head, so on and so forth. So make no mistake, he's relishing this opportunity. And now making his way to the B3 Enterprises blue corner, please welcome his opponent, Stipe Miosic. And here he comes, the man, the myth, the legend, Stipe Miosic. Absolutely. I mean, he is 10 and 0, 5 and 0 as a pro, 5 and 0 as an amateur. Every single fight has ended by TKO or knockout. This guy is an absolute beast. Let's take a look at our Tim Lally Chevrolet tail of the tape. Bobby Brents has a little more weight on him, but, giving, but it's giving up a lot of height and a lot of reach. 6'4 to 5'9, 79 and a half inches to 74. So, you know, for my money, if I'm Bobby Brents, I got to get this thing to the ground. Yeah, I, I don't think I can argue that. Although Bobby Brents did say last time out, he didn't show us his whole arsenal. He was holding something back here for Stipe tonight. And, and, he, and he said as much in his post-fight interview. He said, I'm not showing him everything. So, yeah, uh, and uh, I'm very curious to see the real Bobby Brents in here tonight against one of the best that the, uh, the NAAFS has to offer in Stipe Miosic. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a co-main event of the evening. It is brought to you by Alpha Dog Gear and Tim Lally Chevrolet. It is scheduled for five five-minute rounds and is for the NAAFS Professional Series Heavyweight World Title. And now, introducing, fighting out of our John P. Lennon red corner, this fighter's MMA record is impressive at nine wins and only one defeat. He stands five feet nine inches tall and weighed in at 263 pounds even, representing Team Warrior Concepts, fighting out of Springfield, Illinois, Bob Zombie Brins. And now his opponent fighting out of our B3 Enterprises blue corner. This fighter's MMA record is perfect at 10 wins and zero defeats. He stands six feet four inches tall and weighed in at 238 pounds, representing strong style fight team, fighting out of Independence, Ohio, one of MMA's top heavyweight prospects, Stipe Maiose. Your referee is Mr. Mark Bethini. Wow. Is this crowd into this one or what? Okay, guys, you know the rules earlier tonight. You know the rules. I expect you to fight by the rules. I want to remind you, you are fighting for an NAAFS belt. Let's see what you got. Hook them up.
Well, here we go. The co-main event here tonight, Stipe Myosik, who I'm sure a lot of fans from coast to coast have been hearing about, takes on Bobby Brents. And Brents came out with the nickname The Zombie, and he's going to have to be one tonight because this crowd is extremely partisan behind their hometown hero, Stipe Myosik. And let's see how long Brents tests the water standing. Yeah, that's that's the question. And we did see in Stipe's last fight, he did get caught a few times by uh, William Penn, shook it off and ended up with another spectacular knockout win. And Brents is, uh, you know, if he wants to get Stipe to the ground, that's no easy task. Let's for not forget, this guy wrestled Division One at Cleveland State University. And that's what people don't really understand is just because he hasn't shown his ground game doesn't mean he doesn't have one. He hasn't had to use it yet. Good exchange of leg kicks there. And you can already see the reach is going to be a factor here. And I don't know if Brents has an eye poke or not. Uh, might have been incidental. I didn't see it. Well, Mark Matheny hasn't jumped in there. No, and doesn't seem to be bothering Brents too bad right now. Oh, and our guys in the uh, truck just said a, a bug may have flown into his eye. And that's very possible. I mean, they are swarming. We are outside here on the banks of Lake Erie, and there is bugs everywhere. And it's about that time when yep. uh, us Northeast Ohioans are invaded by the Canadian soldiers, these little bugs that just immigrate from Canada. They stick around for just a couple days, and then they're gone. But when they come in, it's just swarms. Yeah, made famous by the New York Yankees and Cleveland Indians a few years back, the Jabba game. Yeah, that's right. Right now, Stipe's being pretty patient. We talked at the opening of the show that this may be Stipe's toughest opponent. Yeah, I don't know if you can argue that. I mean, I think Stipe will agree, and, and he's fought some tough guys. Josh Stansberry in the past. Uh, we talked about, you know, Greg Maynard, a Bellator veteran. Last time, William Penn was no slouch. But I think Bobby Brents brings a little bit of everything into this fight. And right now, Stipe is establishing his jab very nicely. And we do got to mention that Bobby is the uh, older brother of Tamika Brents, one of the most dominant female fighters, national amateur champion, soon to be making her pro debut. So uh, shout out to Tamika if she's watching on pay-per-view. And Bobby's going for that takedown, but right there he just realized why he's, uh, why he's going to have a little more difficult time taking Stipe down than he thinks. Well, and you said it at the open, John. Brents has won nine fights in a row. That's that's a statement. Absolutely, nine fights in a row as a professional. Yes, yes. Oh, big right. It absolutely found its mark. But you know, to Brents' credit, and he's he shook, still there. Yep, he shook it off. And a lot of eyes on uh, on this fight here tonight nationally for many reasons. But let's just say the uh, top organizations in the sport have their uh, their eye on Stipe Miocic here. So a lot of pressure on him coming into this. Not only is it a title fight in his backyard, but a lot at stake. And right now Stipe letting go. But Brents is doing a very good job covering up, and he just waved at Stipe. Bring it on, buddy. He's got a chin. I mean, he's already shown that. Stipe still dancing around, trying to find his mark. And out of his, out of Myosik's 10 fights, only two have made it out of the first round. None have gone past the second round. So keep that in the back of your head. Absolutely. He, and you know, that's the one thing. You look at his record, 10 TKO or KOs, you think the guy just goes nuts, overwhelms somebody. No, that's not it. He's a very, very technical fighter, a precise striker, and, and he comes up with very good game plans. He's, he's a smart guy, and he's got two great coaches, Marcus and Pablo, behind him that uh, they're always going to be ready. 
Yeah, no doubt about it. I mean, as far as uh, fight camps here in the Midwest, I don't know if you can find any better. And there is a cut on the bridge of the nose of Bobby Brents. And Brents landed a nice shot there. Stipe shrugged it off just like Brent shrugged his off. Stipe's got Brents up against the cage. And that's the end of the first round. Stipe Myosik in charge right now. No doubt how that one's going to be scored. Absolutely. That's a 10-9 round. I mean, he had um, cage control. He was landing the, the bigger shots. So, hey, I mean, it, that, that's an easy round to call. Yeah, no doubt about it. And this, again, only still the third time that Myosik will see a second round as we see the lovely Julie. And here we go. Mark Matheny's getting the boys set. And pay attention. You, you said it, Greg. No opponent has made it out of the second round with Mr. Myosik. Yeah, I mean, 10 fights, 10 finishes. I don't know what, there's been a few incidents there where Brent's kind of steps back like he, he's got something yeah, in his eye or. Yeah. That's a good leg kick from Brent's. Yeah, absolutely. You don't think he's playing possum, do you? You know what? That has crossed my mind. That has certainly crossed my mind. Maybe he realized that he's not going to be able to take Stipe out early, so he's trying to wear him down and give him, you know, a false sense of security, perhaps. I mean, these guys are vaseline up real good. I don't think it's... And again, he's complaining of an eye poke, but... You know, I, I think it may be the glove or a knuckle or something, but it's definitely not a poke. No. I mean, not that we've seen. I mean, maybe it could be the edge of the glove getting in there. I don't know, but it's... The guys in the truck can uh, get us a slow-mo replay of that, but I'm 99.9% .9 sure. I'm not seeing any no, I, at all. And I'm sure if there is one, they're going to find it there in the truck, but um, yeah, we'll see. I don't know if this is strategy by Brent's or... You know, if he's truly being bothered by something in there right now, but nonetheless, he needs to uh, focus at the task at hand here. Myosik, another good right. And Brent's really went for that right hand. Stipe was able to block it. Ooh, nice. Good combination. Absolutely. Good, good leg kick. And to Brent's credit, man, he is he's still firing back. Yeah, he is not throwing the, uh, timidly whatsoever. He is looking to knock Stipe out. And you could just get a sense from this arena. It is ready to explode if Stipe drops Brent's. And this is a five-round fight, a title fight here, five five-minute rounds, if they're needed. You know, I think back to that interview uh, Bobby Brents did. I read on NAAFS.TV. He said, oh, I'm just a wrestler. I'm just a wrestler. You know. Yeah. Uh, he didn't want to give Stipe any material whatsoever. Yeah, very humble, respectful fighter, person, great guy, and tough. I mean, there's no doubt about it. He is showing his toughness here tonight. And there it was again. Yep. He keeps going back to that eye. Good, Good right by yeah. Brents. Stipe reached up to get the tie clinch going, and Brents nailed him with the right. And we've mentioned it in Myosik's past fights. He's another one with just a granite chin. It's going to take a lot to put him down. And William Penn did rock him a little he bit. He did. He did. I mean, he came out, and he went nuts. Maybe gassed himself, but he was going to give Stipe all he could handle. And he did. I mean, Myosik will tell you that, you know, that was a good strategy for Penn. Yeah, I, 
I, yeah. like, Brent's is complaining that, that Myosik is poking him in the eye. But again, and I don't know if it's just happening fast and we're not catching it. I just, uh, I'm not seeing it. Ooh, ooh. I, now, is he going to say again the eye? I, I don't know. It looked like that leg kick. Leg kick. Oh, the leg kick dropped him. I have no question about that. But I, I, I'm wondering what is this eye issue? Yeah, I'm going to be curious to uh, to get the scoop on that if we can. Nonetheless, Stipe Myosik is your new NAAFS heavyweight pro series champion. Yeah, I mean it. And we're going to look at the end of it here right now. See if we can pinpoint anything out of the ordinary here. That was a good right by Brent. And there's a little left hook and a big right leg kick. I don't know if that was leg yeah, yeah. I'm dumbfounded. Here's another angle. Yeah, this is, again, I, I saw nothing there. I saw nothing. Oh, and here, here's another one. Let's see if we can see anything here. Well, that one, there was a little contact to the eye. Again, I don't know if it was a poke, but there was some contact there. Well, it looks like Brent is, uh, is going to be okay talking to the doctor. But tonight, Stipe Myosik's night. Let's send it up to Jazz and crown a champion. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight ends with a tap out due to strikes at 4 minutes and 27 seconds of round number 2. Your winner and new NAAFS heavyweight world champion, Steve.